Hello, Internet. OpenSUSE Leap 15 has been released. Let me sell you on it. <laughs> So far, it's not been very hard. Man, their servers are bogged down. The head's not quite in frame. Oh, bitchin'. Open Sousa 15. I heard some good shit about this one. I have a very fast internet connection, so we'll have a fairly good idea of what their servers are like under load. Hey, five minutes, really? For 4.7 gigabytes. Impressive. So they recommend Image Writer. I would rather use DD. Bingo. Let's prepare. I'm gonna use this thumb drive. Small tutorial. LS dev SD tab tab gives me there's an SDA and an SDB. I'm gonna insert my thumb drive. Tab tab SDC. So clearly my thumb drive is dev SDC. So the command should be dd if for input file gets tilde slash screw that home are you potato downloads what is this download called open susa leap i would have guessed that open susa <laughs> i have so many of these leap 15 dot iso okay then it's just of equals slash dev slash sd and we decided because that's the new device when i plugged in my thumb drive c don't f that up oh but there's more nonsense that they want me to add bullshit equals four megabytes dude you need a diuretic status equals progress ampers ampersand that's a dollar sign dave dave hey cat meow and and sync clever Son of a you know, if we all just remembered to run the sync command before we ripped out our USB drives, we would have a lot less weird data corruption. Can I run this command yet? Yeah, it's downloaded. And same thing. Okay. So now we just get to wait until the ISO is written. Okie dokie, so 3.9 gigabytes copied, and it ran the sync command. No, it didn't, but now we're running the sync command. Because you should ring, you should, you should definitely run that sync command, bro. It's useful. Oh, yeah. Jeez, look how much shit needs sunk. All right, now that sync has been run, I'm actually gonna reboot and install OBS 
over there. On this. Fresh install of this. Okay, here's the grub screen for the installer. We'll just go down to the installation option. Okay, we are initializing. Let's go ahead and spam the next key for a little bit. Next. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go with default KDE Plasma for now. You could also go to configure online repositories, hit next a bunch of times, go to custom, and you can select XFCE or MATE if you so desire. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and go to next. All right, so the partitioner is going to do BTRFS by default. Um, that's cool if you want transactional upgrades, which allows you to like roll back and have a read-only read root file system. But uh, I don't need none of that shit. Expert partitioner will do with existing disks. So for me, it's really easy. I'm just going to replace one of the OS's I have on my fast drive, which is one of these, with with this OpenSUSE. So all I'm going to do is go in here, go to the bottom here, and hit Edit. And we're going to say, do format this drive, mount this drive as root. Next. OK. So now we've, we're going to be using this as my root file system. We need to set up SDB to be my home drive. This is where all my home data is. And I don't want to have to like move that around or do anything special. So we're going to edit this. Do not format. Mount slash home. Next. Accept. And it's just next a bunch of times. The install went just fine. I just finished installing OBS and adding my Pac-Man repos. And I should talk about the Pac-Man repos. These are the biggest gotcha in the OpenSUSE community in my personal opinion. You forget to add these, you're going to probably have a bad experience and talk about how bad OpenSUSE is. So note that if you use OpenSUSE, please do this next step immediately after you install. And what is that step? Go to a browser, type in open SUSE Pac-Man. Open SUSE Pac-Man, just like that. First link, additional repository. And look, here's the command. Notice that it changes the priority to 90. This is very useful. So go ahead and add this. I'm on 15. If you were on a different version, it would have it. Then run zipper refresh. When it asks you if you want to trust the repository, enter A for always. And then your, your system will have a lot more packages available. And you'll have a, just an easier time playing things like MP4s. And you won't like rip your hair out. Um, it's also sometimes useful. And by sometimes useful, I mean like almost always useful to after you add the Pac-Man rep repository to dupe from it, distribution upgrade. So run this command as root. S er, I guess just run this command. Um, you run this command, it'll say this package is broken, do you want to blah blah blah, you always enter one for switch vendor until it installs everything, and then you'll have a, a great time on OpenSUSE. Then I just installed OBS and here I am. So everything's working pretty good, um, except I'm on the open drivers. Let's go ahead and switch to the NVIDIA proprietary driver because I, I like better acceleration just in general. Okay, so I'll be honest, I was trying to do the OpenSUSE drivers the easy way and it just wasn't working for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow the hard directions which is NVIDIA the hard way. It's easy, you just Google NVIDIA the hard way, open source, that's the first link. And we're gonna, gonna go ahead and give these commands a run. Install some patterns. 
go for it. And this is going to install like the source code for my kernel and development crap needed to compile the kernel driver that will come with the N NVIDIA installer. So while that's going, we're going to go ahead and keep reading these. Download the driver. Okay, let's download the driver. Mine's a GeForce um, 10. 10. 60. GeForce GTX 1060 for the Linux 64 bit operating system. English. Yes. Looks like this is the right one for me. Download. Save file. Okay, so now we have the NVIDIA driver. It's just a matter of getting the right dependencies installed and dot slashing that file with no GUI running. Oh yeah, we need to boot without this, so we're going to open up Yast. Yast boot loader. Alright, this is the bootloader config. We can add kernel parameters in here. This one. Okay, so we're going to add that option right here. Just like so. Okay. It's going to go ahead and regenerate my NDRD. Looks like we're fairly well installed here. And I'm going to go ahead and reboot to run level 3. Okay, post reboot. Um, I to did make sure have the source code that was installed up. with these was installed at the right version. So I updated my kernel as well with zipper up. And then it was simple dot slash the installer. I had it regenerate my xconfig files. And it, it worked really well. It's running right now. Pretty. Anyway, I hope you enjoy OpenSUSE. It's a great operating system. There's a couple hiccups you have to like know about. You have to add that Pac-Man repository, and uh, sometimes adding the proprietary driver is a bit tricky. But overall, I think you'll have a great time. Thanks for watching.